to measure the gradient over line, you need to draw a right angle triangle. Just draw, draw from the two points of the line. So we have point B. So we are drawing our right angle triangle. You know that a right, a right angle triangle must have an angle of 90 degrees. So for you to calculate the gradient, you need to know the difference in the y coordinate. We call this the vertical distance. And vertical distance will be given by the change in the y coordinates. And that is y2, my y subscript 2 minus y subscript 1. Then we have this, we call this horizontal distance. So horizontal distance will be given by the change in the x coordinates. So that is x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1. So it is very important to know now the formula of getting the gradient of any given line. It is always the change in the y-axis, that is the vertical distance, divided by the change in the x-axis, that is the horizontal distance. So that gives us the formula y subscript 2 minus y subscript 1 over x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1. So this formula is very important. Put it in a box. If you have highlighter, you can highlight it. You will use it. And I insist always when I ask to find the gradient given two points, you must write down the formula first. So let us look at these examples. So we'll call this example one. Coordinates of point P are, for example, let's talk of three, four, and the coordinates of point Q are, let's talk of eight, fourteen. So we have two points. We want to find the gradient of the line joining the point P. So that's the question. Find the gradient of the line PQ. So that's our question. The coordinates of point P are 3, 4, and the coordinates of point Q are 8, 14. Find the gradient of the line PQ. So here I insist always what you need to do first. Don't forget, please. Label the first co coordinate given as x subscript 1, y subscript 1, and the second coordinate, x subscript 2, and y subscript 2. You have to do that. After that, write down the formula of getting the gradient So the more you, you, you write the formula, the more you'll be able to remember. So after that now, just check the coordinates. Then you do your substitution. It will be very, very easy. If you don't label this, it is very possible that you misread the changes in the x or the y coordinates. So once you've labeled them appropriately as x subscript 1, y subscript 1, and x subscript 2, y subscript 2, and you have your formula written, now just check what is y subscript 2, 14. Minus 
y substitute 1, 4 over x subscript 2, 8, and x subscript 1, 3. So you have 14 minus 4 is 10, 8 minus 3 is 5, and that gives you 2. That is your answer. As simple as that. So that will give you the gradient of the line PQ. That is our first example. Let us look at the second example. So I still repeat, when you are told to find the gradient of a line given two points, please, first of all, label the points appropriately and write down the formula of finding the gradient. So example two, we have <coughs> A533, and let's say B negative two, two, are two points. Find the gradient of the line AB. So just like I said before, the first thing is to label the coordinates given. The first coordinate and the second coordinate. I insist you have to label them. After that, write down the gradient, the formula of getting the gradient of a straight line. Then from here, just do your substitution. Just check. Y subscript 2 is given as 2 minus Y subscript 1 is 23 over x subscript 2 is negative 2 minus x subscript 1 is 5. So this will give you 21 over negative 7. That gives you negative 3 as the gradient. It is very straightforward. So remember the formula and the labeling. So the last example on this, sometimes you can be given the problem in diagram form. It is very, very important. You can draw that. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis. The origin, then I told that this point is 6 and this point is 3. And the question is, find the gradient. So we call this line L. Find the gradient of line L. So just like I said before, for you to get the gradient of a line, you need to know at least two points. So this now brings us back how to read the coordinates. So we have these two points, we have this point, and we have this point. So you need to read the coordinates of this point correctly, and also this for you to be able to get your answer correct. So just like we said before, reading the coordinate, we start with the x, then y. So starting with this point, x is 0 and y is 6. So here the coordinate is 0, 6. And here, x is 3 and y is 0. So we have 3, 0. So always remember that on the y-axis, the value of x is always 0. And on the x-axis, the value of y is always 0. So now we have our two points. So from there, there our two points are... 0, 6, and 3, 0. Just like I said before, the first thing, label the points correctly. After that, write down the formula of getting gradient. That's the question. Find the gradient of the line L. 
So writing the formula will not even take you more than 10 seconds. And remember I said the more you write it, the more you will remember. So from here now, we can get our y subscript 2, which is 0 minus 6 over 3 minus 0. That will give us minus 6 over 3, and that gives us negative 2. So that is the solution to that question. I hope everything is clear. So just remember the steps. So we are moving on to the next objective. This is how to find the equation of a line given two points. Then we, also, we, also, we are also going to see how to find equation of a line from given two points. So that's how you should be able to calculate the gradient. So before we move to, to that, we want to see how to find the gradient from an equation. So we have finding finding the gradient from an equation. So this is whereby you are not given the coordinates. So you need to know this. This is very, very important. The equation of a line, of a straight line. This is the general form of equation of a straight line. It's written as y equals to mx plus c. So this is a very, very important equation that you should always remember. It is general form of equation of a straight line. Where 